So many other countries have elected female leaders. What's it going to take for America to finally have a woman in the White House? Of course, it's not just about getting a woman into the Oval Office. It's important that we have more women leaders across the board. Women make up only 19.4% of Congress. And even in business, women hold a mere 14% of top executive positions. Half of our country's population is female, yet important decisions are made mostly by men. So here's what we can do. Don't view it as a women's issue, it's a human issue. Getting a woman into the White House needs to be reframed as an essential component of a reflective democracy. Send the right signals. We need women and girls to see themselves as leaders, break out of stereotypical roles, and value their own voices and visions. Stop stereotyping strong, ambitious women. There's a prevailing perception that successful women are not likable. They tend to receive more negative reviews across the board from both genders. But, as difficult as it may seem, women also shouldn't feel dependent on being like. Support working women and families in general. First things first. We need better family leave policies, better child care options, and pay equity. We also need to help men break out of their own stereotypical roles so that they too can share in the responsibilities of a caretaker. Change the narrative of women in media. The sexualization and objectification of women and girls in pop culture impact not only a woman's self-perception, but how men view them as well. In 2008, we heard commentators say things like, When Hillary Clinton speaks, men hear, Take out the garbage! The media needs to be held accountable, and we all need to be conscious about what media we consume and support. So you got it? Now let's do it.